Good morning. I'm Zach Coplin, and I'm a graduating senior from Baton Rouge Magnet High School. First, thank you, Senator Peterson, for sponsoring this bill. And also, thank you, Senator Nevers, and if Senator LaFleur was here and the rest of the committee for hearing it. And lastly, I'd like to thank the Louisiana High School teachers, the public school teachers, and the public school students who are sitting right around here. So, I'm here to ask you to repeal the Louisiana Science Education Act which is better known around the state and around the country as Louisiana's creationism law. And why it's known, it's known by that because it allows creationism to public school science classes under the guise of supplemental materials, like supplemental creationist materials. When it passed in 2008, people said this wasn't about creationism, but it's already emboldened school boards like the ones in Livingston Parish and Tangipahoa and their attempts to make creation, creationism part of the curriculum. For example, the Baton Rouge Advocate quoted the Livingston Parish School Board Director of Curriculum, Jan Benton, that said, under the, or describing her testimony, under the provisions of the Louisiana Science Education Act, enacted last year by the Louisiana Legislature, schools can present what she termed critical thinking and creationism in science classes. This law undermines science because creationism is not science. It does not belong in public school science classes. Put it in a religion class, philosophy class, a history class, but not in science classes. And according to Alan Leshner of the American Association for the Advancement of Science, the science of evolution underpins all of modern biology and is supported by tens of thousands of scientific studies. It informs scientific research in a broad range of fields such as agriculture and medicine. And also the National Association of Biology Teachers says about creationism, scientists have firmly established evolution as an important natural process. The nature of science, experimentation, logical analysis, and evidence-based revision based on detectable and measurable data are procedures that clearly differentiate between separate science from other ways of knowing, explanations that invoke metaphysical, non-naturalistic, or supernatural mechanisms, whether called creation science, scientific creationism, or intelligent design theory, are outside the scope of science and therefore are not part of a valid science curriculum. There's no scientific debate over the theory of evolution. There's only a political debate because some people want to suggest evolution is only a theory. In everyday use, the word theory is sometimes used to describe an unproven conjecture. Like, for example, the theory that Carl Weiss wasn't Hugh Long's murderer. That's open to debate. But in science, a theory is very different. Major theories like gravity or the theory of evolution undergird entire branches of science and have been thoroughly tested and retested and shown to have predictive ability to explain natural phenomena. They are hardly unproven conjectures. They're the basic building blocks of modern physics and modern biology, respectively. And they help cement the moon and develop medicines to effectively fight thousands of diseases. You don't need a law, because this law has been said it teaches critical thinking. You don't need a law to teach critical thinking in science class. That's the nature of science. You do need a law if you want to sneak non-science, like creationism, into science class. Senate Bill 70 has been endorsed by major science organizations, including the American Association for the Advancement of Science, which is over 10 million scientists worldwide. It's been endorsed by the Clergy Letter Project, because it's often said there's some conflict between evolution and religion. There is not. The Clergy Letter Project is over 13,000 clergy members who have given their strong support for the teaching of evolution. We have the support of Reverend Weldon Gaddy, who's a Baptist minister from Monroe, Louisiana, and is president of the National Organization Interfaith Alliance. He's been behind this bill. He sent a statement that will be read today. We have a number of prominent scientists, among others, Francisco J. Ayala, who's a prominent Catholic scientist and philosopher, and also 43 Nobel laureates. I mean, the science community is behind the repeal. There is no scientific controversy. And it's also supported by people in our own state. Dr. Claude Bouchard, who was the old head of Pennington, has sent a statement that will be read today. And Dr. Kevin Carman, the LSU Dean of Sciences, could not make it today, but he spoke at a recent rally. The Louisiana Science Education Act undermines the most fundamental part, of, fundamental part of our biology education, which is evolution. Nobel laureates know this. Research institutions know this. Major science organizations know this. Colleges know this. Companies know this. They'll question our science education, and they won't know if we've been taught creationism. They won't know if this law has intimidated our teachers, because there was recently a survey on who taught evolution or not, and a lot of teachers were afraid to teach evolution the way they should, that will give us proper education. They won't know if this law has intimidated us. And so they'll say, we'll take a safe bet. They'll doubt our qualifications. They'll accept a student from another state, from Georgia or Texas or maybe, let's go with Connecticut. But they won't accept us. They'll accept someone else because they won't know if we have the qualifications to do that cutting-edge science. If you look up creationism on Monster Jobs or Career Builder, 
you'll get a message that says, sorry, there are zero creationist jobs. That's because there's no creationist jobs in the biological sciences. On the other hand, there are thousands of biology jobs that are dependent on evolution. We've got bright kids ready to go out and make their futures, to learn, to contribute, to change the world, and we don't want this door slammed in our face. We're here to say we want science and only science taught in science class. We're here to learn the cutting edge science that the rest of the world is learning, that kids in China, kids in England, kids in India, kids in France are learning evolution. We want evolution to be taught in our public schools too, because we want to compete with them. We want to, have, we want to graduate, we want people to say, you come from a great state, we want you at our school, we want you at our university, we want you working at our research center. We want you working. We want people in our state, we want Pennington to hire our kids. We want Louisiana to be a good place to stay and work because it's a, it does good science. It's not an anti-science state as it's sometimes regarded now. It's, we need to repeal the Louisiana Science Education Act. I'm, I'm asking this committee to vote yes on Senate Bill 70 today. Thank you. Thank you. And thank you for hearing it. Do we have a question to Senator Quinn? Um, thank you. I'm sorry, your name was? Zach Copeland, Z-A-C-K-K-O-P-P-L-N. Mr. Copeland. And, and I thought you did a, a wonderful job of 